I'd like you to get back the object before it arrives in Shinjuku. The object is this box. Hey, wait for me! Really? These guys are that dangerous, huh? Yes. They're led by Kurodo Akabani, known as Dr. Jackal. His ruthless, cold-blooded methods make him the most hated figure in the transport service world. This is sick. There's no reason for this carnage. I can never forgive this kind of thing! Make yourself comfortable. It's time for you to die. Goodbye, Bon. Bon, didn't you hear me? It's time to wake up. We gotta get to work. Work! Jeez, Bon, you can't live in your dreams forever, you know, right? Big brother. Bon? Dr. Jackal. So good to finally meet you in person, my dear recoverers. My name is Kurodo Akabane, and I'm a transporter on this job. Shall we come to an agreement? One that's favorable to you two? What do you think? Well, Bon? It's a simple exchange, really. All we ask on our side is that you immediately get back in your car, turn around and drive away as fast as you can, back to wherever you came from. In other words, we want you to give up any attempt to complete your recovery job. Since I'm sure you're wondering what you two will receive in exchange, I'll tell you. I will give you the ultimate gift and spare your lives. <gasps> what will you choose, recoverers? Give up on your job and survive? Or end up like that interception service? Please, take your time and think it over. Scaring them with cheap theatrics, are we? Bon Midao won't fall for a trick like that, you know. <laughs> Maybe not, but his partner, the little blonde boy over there, is looking a tiny bit rattled, wouldn't you say so? Well, whether he swallows my ruse, hook, line, and sinker or not, the end result will be the same. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Don't lose your cool, Genji. The only job we're here to do is our recovery. We're here for the box, and that's all. Now then, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to decide by the count of five. You can either be killed where you stand, or give up and live to recover another day. One. Give up, huh? Two. It looks like the bastard is actually determined to bring this thing to a death match. Three. Four. Ugh. Five. He's fast! Bon, I'll keep this guy occupied while you get the box, okay? But hurry up! No other choice, huh? He's all yours, Genji! Well, well, well. You're going to try to defeat me all by your lonesome, with no help at all? To tell you the truth, I was hoping for a little bit more of a challenge. What?! Feel free to try out in fear if you need to. I'm not gonna fall for the same trick twice, pal, so you may as well quit the whirling dervish routine. So... Your body can generate electricity, eh? Quite a bizarre physiology you've got there. I could have sworn he wasn't carrying any sharp weapons, so why? Why does it look like I just got cut by a knife? It looks like you'll provide me with some fun after all, but in the end, this will still be too easy for me. Jackal would have been bad enough by himself, but he would come too. Better grab the goods and get out of here fast. Bingo! Long time no see, huh? 
I knew if I kept playing the transport game, I'd wind up running into you one day, Fawn. Same here. That doesn't mean I want it to happen. At least it sounds like you understand what you did to me. You won't get away! You're too slow, Nico. If he's wearing a thick coat and rubber gloves, my lightning won't get through to him. Could I have you call your friend for me? I'd like to get a taste of this Jagon I've heard so much about. If you need some motivation, I can always make you cry out in agony for help. So that's it. Under his coat! What exactly are you intending, boy? I was gonna help you slip into something a little more comfortable. Well, Jackal, take it off now or you'll burn alive. I see what you mean. Is that your little game? Will this be more to your liking, then? <gasps> now then, shall we end the preliminaries and get started? With the operation, I mean. Hold still now. <laughs> Don't move! Flame perfume, huh? When you breathe it in, it's all over. It ignites internally and burns a person to death from the inside out. I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> someone stands up wind from you, the poison perfumes you're so proud of are useless. Hand over the cargo, Himiko. If you don't... The 200 kilogram grip. Your snake bite maneuver. Will you choke me to death with that viper's hand, like my big brother? Only if it's necessary. Yeah. Uh, Magaruma! I need a helping hand out here, Mr. No Break! I must have breathed some of it in. I'm a professional too. So since my job takes priority over revenge, I'll let you off with that. Genji, move! The truck is heading right for you! What's the matter, little boy? If you don't hurry, you'll get run over by a rather large truck. This bloodlust is overwhelming. If I try to move now, I'll be chopped to pieces. Genji, run! Genji! If you take a single step closer, and I mean a single one, I'll flick my wrist and your friend here will lose his life. Careful. I wouldn't try to shock me if I were you. This hand of mine might involuntarily twitch and wind up slicing your body to ribbons. <laughs> If you're gonna do it, then do it! <laughs> I'd like nothing better, believe you me. But Miss Himiko has decided she'd rather have you alive in the truck than dead in the street. Huh? That is the most satisfactory plan, isn't it, Miss Himiko? You're exactly right, Dr. Jackal. Himiko! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back! You move and this guy dies. Not that it matters much. We're only keeping him alive until we reach our destination. Looks like you've got another item on your list of things to get back now, don't you? Bon? What will you do now, Bon Midao? Will you risk everything, even your life, to save your friend? Of course you won't. What a silly idea. There just isn't any profit in it. What do you think, Ms. Himiko? Shall we go now? Our anxious client is waiting for our swift return. <laughs> Sailing straight from here to Shinjuku. Mm. As long as that weirdo is watching me, I can't make a move. But all that aside, what the heck is he anyway? 
Where did he pull a weapon from when he was naked from the waist up? Nothing to write home about, are you? Even though you're the former leader of the Volts, the strongest in Shinjuku, you really don't live up to a name like the Lightning Emperor. Just cut it out, would you? I never liked that ridiculous title anyway. I'd rather not remember stuff like that, okay? And another thing, pinning me with that truck was really cowardly. At least you're not boring. You seem like such an innocent, trusting guy. Why would you get mixed up with someone like Ban Midao? With a cold-blooded snake like that guy? Stop bad-mouthing Bon. Look, I don't know what happened between you and him, but Bon isn't cold-blooded at all. I mean, sure, he's hard to get to know at first, but if you just make an effort to get... Ha! Poor thing. You have no idea the kind of man he really is, do you? I'm starting to think you're the one who deserves to be pitied, not me. What's that supposed to mean? I can tell by looking in your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who spent their life being pounded by a cold, hard rain. The eyes of a person who's lived without relying on anyone or believing in anyone. I know those eyes. Because a long time ago, I was the same kind of person you are. This is Volt's territory. You better beat it, and fast. That is if you want to stay alive. The guy who runs a restaurant we go to told me something once. Money and status, cars and houses, precious jewelry, lovers and friends. Being human means going through life stealing precious things and having precious things stolen from you in return. That's the kind of desperate, hopeless creatures human beings are. If what gets taken from you is money or things, you can probably get it back. But if it's something else entirely, something like warmth or humanity, then the only thing that can fill up the cavern inside your heart is meeting another human being who holds the same emptiness. After I met Bon, I finally understood what he meant. Living with a friend you can trust and who can trust you in return, it's way more fun than being alone. Tell me, is this what you call fun? Doing your job with a guy like that? A guy who goes around hacking up opponents who are clearly no match for him? Also, he can enjoy a little senseless slaughter? He's not a decent human being. The only reason he's doing transport work is so he can have fun chopping up people who come after the cargo. People like those interceptors. Thanks to you and your brilliant conversation, I'll be able to make the rest of this trip without getting bored. Look, Himiko, you don't want to see anyone else get carved up by this creep over here, do Enough, you? Enough, okay? Hey, listen, I just got the coolest idea. Say, do you want to be in a recovery service, too? <laughs> make Bon happy, too. It really, really would. I mean, it looked like your misunderstanding was bothering him. So what are you... S uh, uh, Quit spouting off about things that are none of your business. You have no idea, that's all. You don't know what Bon Midao is really like. He's a murderer. Bon Midao took my older brother from me. A friend to believe in? 
Don't make me laugh, pal. You've been conned by a master. You've been taken in by that charming viper and all his promises and smooth talk. <sighs> you won't understand me no matter what I say. But soon you'll understand perfectly, even if you don't want to. About the time our truck reaches its destination, in fact. What's that supposed to mean? It means there's no way that man you've been praising will ever come back to get you. I'm right, aren't I? In a situation like this, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> You'll realize you've been abandoned by the friend you chose to believe in, just as your last breath leaves your body. <laughs> no, I won't! Because Bond's on his way to rescue me even as we speak! I was going to let you live to see our destination, but I've had enough. Looking at your stupid trusting face is making me want to puke. I'm taking care of you here and now. Ah! Here we go. Oh. He's coming. So he wound up coming after all, just as Ginji said he would. You see, Himiko? Bring it on, Bon Midao. I'm ready. Hey! You alive in there or what, Ginji? Yep, it was a close call, but you got here just in time. Hey, good work, buddy. And now I'm gonna get you and that box back into this car safe and sound. But try and stay alive until then, okay? Woohoo! I'll leave it to you. All right, good boy. So, what are the bad guys up to anyway? Fun! <laughs> Come out to play. Sounds good to me. Prepare to be forced. You moron. How many times do I have to tell you your poison perfume won't work unless you're standing up wind from me? Don't you ever learn? That, that smell. Is that flame perfume? You're the moron, Bon Me Down. Well, well. So there's nothing left for me to do. This is rather a disappointment, isn't it, Ms. Himiko? What were you expecting? Huh? <gasps> what? What's happening? Just a minute. <gasps> Yo, Nimiko. Huh? Did you have a bad dream or something? The... The Jagon! Let's hit it, Ginji! Blonde haired brain, Nimrod? I can't help it, she's cute! Huh? Don't think I haven't noticed how worked up you get when you're around her. If you can clear up this misunderstanding, you two could be friends! You really think so, huh? I see. So that was the famous Jagon. I was treated to quite an enjoyable dream. How could I be so careless? Never in a million years would I have thought Bon Midao would come back to rescue his partner. But the fact that he used his ace in the hole, the Jagon, is to our advantage. What are you talking about, Miss Himiko? I'll tell you, Jackal. Bon can only use the Jagon three times in any given day. What's more, he can't use it twice on the same person within 24 hours. He told me long ago that if he breaks those rules, it could be fatal. My, my. As far as the Jagon is concerned, he's been stripped naked. Come on, we've got to get after them. The success of our operation rests on the skill of the man with no brakes. We're counting on you, Magaruma. No need to worry about me. That's what I like to hear. Right, Jackal? Such fun. 
What? It looks as though you're having such fun, Miss Himiko, in a different sense than myself. What exactly are you trying to say, Jackal? Nothing at all, I swear. Only whatever you do, please don't interfere with me while I'm having my fun, all right, Lady Poison? Now then, shall we go? It's time to begin our little rabbit hunt. <laughs>